Hi everyone, I'm Trish Triampho Sullivan, and I want to welcome you to Advanced Photography Classes. Um, this is a welcome for Photo 2, which is Beginning Black and White Photography, Photo 3, which is Advanced Photo Lab, and Photo 4, which is the photographer, the portfolio, uh, photography portfolio class. Um, so these are all advanced classes, and you should have had the prerequisite, which is Photo 1, right, Beginning Photography, um, before you took this class. So you should, by now, you should know the parts of a camera, how to work a camera, um, all about film and the properties of film, um, and some some basic ideas of darkroom techniques. When, in photo one, you don't go into the darkroom, but we do talk about that in the beginning class. So you should know all this stuff before class. But this is a welcome, so I really want to um, want to explain how I feel about photography and hopefully you will get the photo bug too. Um, so I love photography because I'm able to um, capture moments and scenes that, that I'm perceiving and able to share those with others through my photographs. So that's one of the things that makes photography really amazing is that you can capture something that you're perceiving and that you're enjoying um, and sharing it with others. So that's, that's part of the idea with photography. Um, and photography is really an important thing. Um, I, I want you to imagine the world without photography. What would we be missing? We'd be missing a lot, right? Um, imagine no TV, no videos, no movies, no video games, right? No cell phones as we know them, nor computers as we know them. Right? We wouldn't be as informed about the world because photography helps us be informed about what's going on. Um, photographs uh, help us to, um, to actually document things in the world and in our lives. Um, and because of that, we are all, as photographers, we are all historians. You know, a hundred years from now, people are going to look back and be, oh my gosh, look at that cool old car. Right? And that was your car. <laughs> so um, remember that your photographs are important and photography is really, really important in our everyday life. And most jobs have some sort of photography attached to it, um, especially if you're doing anything with, uh, with marketing or media. Um, you have to be able to know the basics of photography and it's very, very important. Um, so in this class, in these classes, because we have three classes we're talking about right now. So beginning black and white photography, like I said, you should have had the prerequisite, pre pre <laughs> if I can only speak, um, of beginning photo, introduction to photography, photo one, um, either at Hartnell or some other school, and that's fine. Um, if you haven't, if you're taking this class and you haven't done the prerequisite, you're gonna need a little bit of extra reading and practice with your camera to make this work for you. <clears throat> but the goal of this class is to really challenge your photography skills and to open your eyes to new ways and new techniques to share your vision with the world, right? Um, Advanced Photography Lab, pretty similar, except uh, it's, it's, not just, uh, it's not just black and white photography, right? We can use color photography. Um, and in these classes, you can use either film or digital. Um, although for black and white photography this semester, we're gonna use film and we're gonna learn how to use a film camera, which will be really exciting. Not that there's much difference between a film camera and a digital camera. And you guys do know what the difference is, right? How the image is recorded. That's the only difference between film and digital. Film, image is recorded on film. Digital, it's recorded on a sensor and then stored on a, on a UPC storage device on your camera. So, um, this is gonna be an exciting class and we're gonna learn a lot. Um, I always learn a lot from my students as well, so I'm excited to have you guys here with me and I'm excited to have, uh, to be teaching this class this semester. So let me give you a quick heads up. Um, my name is, once again, Trish Triumph O'Sullivan. You can call me Trish, right? We're all adults here. This is a college-level class. 
So you can call me by my first name, or you, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can call me Ms. Sullivan. You can call me Professor if you want. That's fine too. Um, but uh, here's my contact info, P. Sullivan at hartnell.edu. And my cell phone, which is 831-594-1799. You're welcome to text or call me if you have questions or need help. Uh, remember, I'm here for you guys. I really want everyone to succeed and get a good grade in the class. And to do that, you will need to turn assignments in. And I'll tell you this as you're welcome. Um, you cannot pass this class without turning in assignments. So I'll say it one more time. You cannot pass this class without turning in your assignments. And the, the, the class is weighted towards assignments. The assignments count for way more of your grade than do, does any of the testing. So I really want you guys to get on top of your assignments, turn them in. Um, the assignments are how you learn. That's how you're gonna learn photography, is by doing the assignments. Because just like riding a bike or driving a car, you can study them all you want, but until you actually do it, you're not really learning how to do it, right? So you have to be able to physically take your photos and turn them in. Um, and we'll be working this semester a lot with Photoshop or other online photo editing programs like Pixlr, um, because in the pre-COVID world, we'd be in the dark room at Hartnell working uh, together as a class. Uh, right now, because we are in quarantine and we don't have access to the dark rooms, you're either going to have your own dark room at home if you're able to do that. Some people are, some people aren't. Um, or we're going to be learning how to do some of the same techniques on Photoshop or Pixlr, um, so that you're able to, so that you're able to learn how to with these with these particular programs, um, and it'll give you at least an idea of what the different techniques do. So that said. Welcome to class. We're going to have a great semester.